Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the best applications that were released in January 2014. First up is Bad Hotel. In this fun little time waster, you must build a hotel that can sustain damage from all of the terrible things that are trying to destroy it. You essentially start with a core and must build around it to protect it from such things as birds that have bombs. It's quick but fun and only costs a couple of bucks in the Google Play Store. If you want something a little more heavy, Deus Ex The Fall is a good option. It features a full 3D graphics experience. In this game, you can choose what genre you play. You can either do stealth mode or all-out action mode. It's your call. The graphics are nice, the story is competent, and unlike most of Square Enix's games, its price is somewhat reasonable. Farm Hero Saga is essentially Candy Crush Saga with a new skin. Instead of dealing with candy, you instead deal with fruits and vegetables. Otherwise, the essential premise remains the same. You must mix and match specific icons to complete levels. There are hundreds of levels and it's free to play, so if you need something to keep you occupied for a while, this isn't a terrible option. Final Fantasy VI was released in January to mixed reactions. Some people think the game needed more work and that the new graphics weren't enough. Other people didn't care and picked it up for nostalgia value alone. It's very expensive at 16 bucks, but this is one of the best RPGs of all time. Despite the nearly non-stop line of complaints, the game itself still garners a 4.5 rating in the Google Play Store, so there is that. Jelly is a brand new social network from one of the same minds that brought us Twitter. In this network, you take pictures of things, ask questions about it, and other people will answer if they know. The app itself could use some work as the interface is whatever the opposite of intuitive is, but it is free and we assume they'll update things to make it more enjoyable eventually. Private Text was released in response to that ridiculously stupid security issue with Snapchat. In Private Text, the interface takes you back to 1990, which is kind of lame, but the app itself works perfectly fine. With this, you get a totally private messaging service where your messages actually self-destruct after a period of time. It requires a pin like BBM, and it looks like it was designed by Netscape, but if you need a private messaging service, this is a pretty good app to try. We talked about Recollect a few weeks ago, and for good reason. It's a brand new app that helps remind you of things that you need to do. Using it is fairly simple. You define the addresses of your home, office, grocery store, etc., and then you create tasks you need at those locations at certain times. Then, when you're near those locations or the time approaches, Recollect will remind you. It has a pretty good design, and it's also free. Small Fry is an infinite runner that takes place in the ocean, in the air, and in space. This surprisingly addictive game took up more of my time than I'm willing to admit to because it's simple, quick, and fun. You play as a fish, you tap the screen to dive, and that's really it, folks. The fish jumps all on its own, and using this very simple control scheme, you just need to avoid the bad guys. It's harder than it looks. If you've got a question, chances are that Stack Exchange has the answer, or if they do not, there are people who use Stack Exchange who probably know the answer. Now they have an official app and it works really well. Using it, you can browse any one of their bajillion subsidiaries and get answers for everything from programming to speaking Italian and even gaming. It's well designed and it's easy to sign up, so if you've got questions, this app probably has the answers. We reviewed Talon for Twitter and at the end of this video, we'll provide a link to that. Talon is a dark themed Twitter app that costs $2 and all things considered, it's a pretty decent Twitter application. You get a few fun features like live streaming support and talent poll, plus there's a theme engine so purveyors of the theming arts can make it look how they please. With Twitter's dastardly token limit looming, you may want to pick this one up while you can. We also reviewed Udemy, and since this blogger has a penchant for educational apps, it's highly recommended that you go watch it. Using this app, you can view and enroll in classes that teach you anything from 3D modeling to programming and even stuff like cooking, second languages, and yoga. There are free and paid classes should you want to take them, and it can be fairly handy for people looking to get into something new. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know that we're doing a good job. If you want to follow Android Authority, myself, or any of the other video crew, you can find all of our social media links in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion in the video description. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.